Do you want him to leave? Nice to you. you gotta leave. Or? Or you'll go to jail. So do you guys know the actual law that I'm allowed to go in here as a journalist and gather content? That is not true. What do you mean that's not true? That's not true. That's not trespassing. Yes, it is. Well, we, I guess if you want to push it, we can push it. I'm just saying that and I'm it's... telling you that that's how it's going to be. Hey, guys, it's your boy here, Good Citizen News. I hope y'all having a great day today. All right, guys, so we have a good video coming from Stand Up Press. And this video is amazing, guys. You will not believe what these two law enforcement agencies tell him about trespassing in the state of Ohio. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely insane. You won't believe what happens. Just check it out. Also, remember, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Um, links for the original video will be in the description and the pinned comment section. And also, if you'd like to donate to the channel to keep us moving, keep us going, then uh, links will be in the description and in the pinned comment section below. Thank you so much. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Looks like you can get test kits. I'm assuming that's for COVID. You got all this stuff up here. Board to health board right there. One door to one. Thank you. Video. So you don't need to be videoing me. <laughs> I'd rather you not. <laughs> and where are you from? Who are you? I'm just doing a story. For uh, myself. I'm independent. You can't be videoing in here if, you, like, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. Most certainly can. Okay. I'm working on a story, so. Excuse me, can I help you? I'm working on a story. Just getting some pictures. Okay, but can one of us help you? Or are you just randomly, like, what, what are you doing, I guess? What are, what are you I here for? I told you what I was doing. Some you weren't very specific. For a story. What is your name? My name is Jason. Jason. Who are you? My name is Missy Smith. What is what is and your what last name? What capacity do you work here? I'm not answering any more questions until you well, answer I've questions. I've already answered everything that I no. have to answer. What is your last name? It doesn't matter. Who do you work for? I'm You're not for answering myself. questions. I'm calling the sheriff. All right. So she basically asked him three questions. First, what are you doing here? And then she asked for his name. And then she asked who he works for. So for her to say that he's not answering questions is ridiculous because he answered them. You want me to push the button, Missy? Well, I don't know if you need to push the button, but we'll definitely call. What I'm doing is 100% legal. But we don't know who you are, so if you don't have business here, you're trespassing. I'm not trespassing. I just told you. you are. I'm just going to get, can I I'm do mind if I seek clarification? Go ahead. Okay, call okay. him. Okay. Let's go look at my in the middle of something here. Can I help you, ma'am? I have the 145. Okay. There's a gentleman here at the health department, and he's filming, and he won't tell us his name or what it's here for, or he's here for. And I mean, he may, I don't know if he's within his rights to do that. He says he is, but he has no business here, so I don't know if that's trespassing or if they can at least come by and talk to him. Because our staff doesn't feel safe. It's okay. He said his first name is Jason. He won't give me any other information. And I mean, I'm not saying he isn't within his rights, but he's making the staff uncomfortable. I'll try again. Can you try again? Okay. Probably the police, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'll wait for him. I'm sorry, what? 
So I ain't going anywhere. I'll wait for him. And I told you I was working on a story. I didn't tell and, you. And that's fine. I'm not trying to be but confrontational. But you, you told them I wouldn't tell you what I was here. And I told oh, you I'm I was sorry. working on a story. Okay. I'm sorry. He is working on a story. I guess I apologize for that, sir. He did tell us that he is working on a story. But he doesn't have health department business. And he's making the staff uncomfortable. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not asking him to leave. I'm just asking if someone can come check it out. Lisa, what do you need? Okay, thank you. We need to stop to work. Can we get home? Tuesday. I just don't understand how you can work on a story without asking us additional information. Like, because this is, this is a public building. Okay. Right? I understand okay. that. Okay. So what is the story if it's just pictures, I guess is what I'm asking. Well, I'm just getting public information. That's all I'm doing. Oh, okay. the bulletin boards and the stuff that's there for the public. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't right. trying to like, like she's talking and doing stuff with her. I'm not getting that right. Right, because that is protected health information. And you're not yeah, like, I, I can't try to get her information. Right. But I can and get you can't, anything. And you can't film anybody that's in okay. there either. Yes, I can. Right, well, congratulations. If, they're in, if I'm in a public space, which I'm at right now, okay. right, and I can see you, you're behind the counter. I can right, film but those people are here for health services. See. They have protected I, health information. I understand that. Okay. But, okay, do I know what they're here for? Um, There's more than one thing. Out. You can figure that out from what desk they're standing at. Yes, that is, that it can be um, inferred or implied. But anybody that standing. walks in here could know that, right? If you're standing right, here and you, you see something, right? But you are filming it for, for. It doesn't matter. Is it for your if personal you can see use? It? Is it for public? No, it's for. It'd be public. Public on. A, okay, so that is different. You know what? And I'm not. I'm not arguing. You may be correct. I'm not saying that I am right and you were wrong. I'm just saying you're making the staff uncomfortable and you won't give us any additional information. Well, I told you what I was doing. I told you my first name. I'm being polite. I'm I, not, I know. You that know what I'm are. saying? So, I know that you are. You are being and polite, on sir. On top of that, but you guys have cameras in here, correct? I am not going to answer here, that correct? question. I am not going to answer that question. Because there is cameras in here. I've you already don't know seen that. some. I, I am not going to answer that question. I Actually, I'm done. I'll let you and the sheriff work it out. All right. So, And I'm not trying to be confrontational with you, but I just don't understand I'm not why either. it it's, doesn't bother you that you're making people here uncomfortable. They shouldn't be uncomfortable over a camera when they're already being recorded. That is your assumption, sir. You do not know that. Well, a camera does not hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we have any more for this. I'll just let them... All right, guys, this sign is very deceiving. It reads as follows. To protect the privacy of our patients and our patients' families, there is absolutely no video or phot photography allowed in our clinic areas. Thank you for your cooperation. This means that in the patient care areas, he can't record, but in the public areas, he can. That needs to come down. You guys have any special programs for the holidays coming up? What is that? I'm sorry? Special programs for, like, holidays for families and kids? Um, I don't think so. No. How you doing, sir? How's it going? I'm good. Did Officer Burton. What's going on? Just taking some pictures and video. Okay. Public information, working on the story. I told them that. Okay. You got an ID on you? Why do I need ID for it? Because I got caught here for you, so I need to ID and find you. I don't have to ID. I ain't broke the law. Yeah, they don't want you here, so. They didn't tell me to leave, for one. For two, they don't really have Do you want him to leave? You got to leave. Or or you'll go to jail. All right, guys, so imagine this for a minute. I wanted to pause this right here. Imagine this for a minute. Imagine you're standing on your own property at your own business, let's say, and a man walks up to you with a gun and says, you need to leave right now or I'm gonna use violence against you. That's a threat, guys, absolutely a threat and should be perceived as such. This is a phone call I had with Lieutenant Piper of the Washington Courthouse Police Department. Hey, let's say like you're, you're at home, right? And somebody... Uh -huh comes it comes on to your property and tells you that you have to leave that house with a gun well i mean if it's your property i mean i, I guess it just depends on how you uh, feel how you portray that uh Pers act against you okay for trespassing yes okay you know that's not right okay where's you your idea you don't have the let's go outside you don't have the right to trespass me from here well they don't want you here. You're not here for a reason. I am you're here for a reason. I told them I was working on a story. And I have every right to do so. Okay, well, they don't Just want like you. I have every right to record you. You're I a public know. employee. I have no issue with that. They're public employees. This okay. is a public building. I was getting public information and asking questions. So okay. as a journalist, I'm allowed to ask questions. And you can't stop me from doing it. Okay. So telling me that you're going to trespass me, that's wrong. Well, that's how it's going to work. 
and you're going to stick to that? Yep. Even though that the law says that you're, you're not a, in feelings enforcement. They don't want you here. You're a law enforcement officer. Okay, they right? don't want you here. You got your ID on you? I'm not giving my ID out on broke the law. Okay. Well, being in there was when they had no reason to be in there. They yeah, came that, I already told you I had reason. Well, that's not a reason to keep them uncomfortable and wondering why you're there. I told them why I was there. Okay, and well, she said didn't. that she didn't know if I was within my rights or not, which you're supposed to go in there and tell her that I am. Okay. Not tell me that I have to leave. Okay, well, you don't There's give case me a... law and everything else. You want to read that? I'll tell I'm... you exactly why I'm allowed to be here and why you can't make me leave. Okay. Well, they don't want you inside the building. Okay, so. You can record out here and do whatever your story is, but they don't so want you inside the So you're going to violate my rights, right? That's not violating your rights. Yes, they didn't is. want you to hear. It's 100 They told me to tell that. you to leave. They don't want you here, so that's what we're going with. All right, so you're going to violate my rights. Basically. It's not violating your rights. It is, because you want to read what the actual law is, because you're law enforcement. You're not feeling I, I, enforcement. I'm, I'm aware of the, the First Amendment. Yeah. Right. Okay, are you aware of all the case law that says I can do this? Yes. You can record out here if you want. I'm not well, saying you can. I can record in there. Well, they don't want you in there. But they, they, it doesn't it's matter. It's their right to not, not allow you in there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a public building. Exactly, and if they don't I want in you there in there. If I was yelling and screaming and throwing stuff, then yes, they would have a right to say, hey, you can't be in here because you're causing a They have the right to tell you down. to leave. It's that simple. Is it Hughes? How you doing? So what's the story that you're working on? I don't have to disclose my story. I told you I'm a journalist working on a story, gathering public information. Okay. Okay. You have your credentials <clears throat> if you're a journalist? There is no such thing. Okay. No. They don't want you here, so it's that simple. Yeah, well. Right. So you, you're saying you explained to them why you were here? Yeah. I explained to them why I'm here. Okay. All What's right. Your I'll name? Be... Rumor? Rumor. Rumor. Yeah. Like rum. Kind of like the drink. Yeah. 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 So do you guys know the actual law that I'm allowed to go in here as a journalist and gather content? That is not true. What do you mean that's not true? That's not true. Wait, 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 wait. Let me replay this again. What do you say? I'm allowed to go in here as a journalist and gather content. That is not true. Did this officer really just say we're not allowed to news gather? Are you insane? They don't want you here it's still, even though it's public or... Government There's owned. case law on it. Yeah, I don't care. All it's still government law. owned and they have a right to refuse you to come in. That's not true. Yes, it is. Did I, ask you were trying to I was just getting the stuff off the walls, you know, like the posters and bulletins and stuff like that. And then I asked if there was any programs or what have you for like the winter and things like that. Like? Just public information. Okay. What, what kind of programs? You program know, I'm not trying to, trying to get like people's personal stuff uh, yeah like like a, i was just curious because you know health department and hipaa and all that stuff I, well that stuff's on them the right. onus is on them to protect somebody's information that's why they have offices in the back they take them to the back right to I understand. Stuff. that's why I so asking. i don't know why people's here okay. you know what I mean? Well, I mean they could be here for any number of things sure absolutely so, as far they as they do still have the right to refuse you to come in how is that if i was breaking a law yes <clears throat> If I'm not causing still, a disturbance and I'm peacefully just recording the information and asking for an public information. They don't want you there, you're not going to be there. Just like the city building that you were in just a little bit ago. I can be there too. No. They don't want you there, you're not going Where's, to be there. What's the law that says that? Trespassing. That's not trespassing. Yes, it is. Well, we, I guess if you want to push it, we can push it. I'm just saying that. And I'm telling you that that's how it's going to be. If you go back in there and they don't want you there, it's going to be trespassing. Fine. I won't go back in. But that, that's a violation of the First Amendment right there. Well, you have your opinion, and I'll take it to the court, and we'll see how the court decides on it. That's the way you want to push it. All right, guys, thanks. Have a good day. I believe you're wrong, though. Well, I mean, I tried to show him. opinion, and I have mine. I think you probably ought to go. All right. All right, guys, here's the full phone call that I had with Lieutenant Piper of the Washington Courthouse Police Department. Hi, you said your new your, 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 Pi, Piver or Piper? Piper. Yeah. Piper. Okay, sorry. My phone's being a little weird. Yeah, so I was just wondering about y'all's trespassing laws, and I just wanted to get some clarification um, because uh, here in Texas, we, you know, if as long as they're warned, we can shoot trespassers, right? Um, and so in Ohio, I was trying to do some research on the laws, and if I was on my own property and somebody had a weapon not necessarily drawn but like on them or i could see it on them and um they told me that i had to leave my own property would i have 
justifiable justifiable force in, in using that against them or so on your own property yeah on my own property like let's say let's say like you're you're at home right and somebody uh, comes in, comes on to your property and tells you that you have to leave that house with a gun you know, would you have the right to defend yourself from that, or would would that be not enough, uh, not enough th threat? I would say, or I mean, how would that work? Because I'm just trying to figure out the the trespassing laws and stuff like that, and the use of deadly force combined with that. Well, I mean, if it's your property, Ohio has kind of like Florida does now, more of the uh, stand your ground uh, stance. Um, but if, if you don't feel like you're threatened, I mean, if a guy points a gun at you, you're pretty threatened, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I guess it just depends on how you uh, feel, how you portray that uh, act it's... against you. Okay. Properly. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I was just, I was just wondering how, like, I, I didn't know that, I didn't know some of the nuances of the laws, and I figured who better to call than the law enforcement officers, you know? Yeah, because, you know, last thing I need to do is make a, mis a mistake that it winds me up in jail forever, you know? <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, you know, you still got a jury oh. of your peers that have to... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely, uh, you know, I, I agree yeah, with it's that. All, it's all about the threat and how you, have, how you if you feel like the guy's going to... Okay. ...serious physical harm to kill you, then... All right. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Yes, see you, man. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, guys, as you heard the officer say, it's all about how you perceive the threat. And these guys were absolutely a threat. All right, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. 